Okay, this is part two. You know, this here is homemade, home rendered lard that I did myself. Rendered it out of good old pork fat. Mm -hmm. And uh, put a little in the old Dutch oven. Lard is nowhere near as bad for you as uh, was once thought. Yeah. Science has now disproven all of that. And uh, it's not quite as good for you as, say, olive oil, but oh boy, the taste is uh, significantly better. And it can do things that olive oil simply can't do. Particularly if you're baking or if you're frying chicken. Man. Don't even think about the difference between frying chicken and lard and, and olive oil or peanut oil or something. Because uh, lard is about 40 times better. Let that melt up. I got sliced up into chunks and put into a Coated with a little bit of uh, flour and uh, salt, pepper, chili powder, paprika, and a couple other little things. <laughs> and, uh, Your secret uh, ingredient. My <laughs> secret ingredients. And uh, as soon as that gets warm, it's just barely starting to crackle here. Turn that thing on first. Boy, that's all right. I didn't mean to do that, but I don't want to clump these all together yet. I have a big mass of them. Now you put the... A uh, whole organic, organic peeled potatoes, or tomatoes. I'll chop these things up. These will reduce down. Chilies. I think these are, I don't know, what are these? Anaheim chilies? I don't know. Well, you bought them. <laughs> and the bell pepper, and we'll put the mushrooms in later. And this will all kind of melt down and reduce. Secret ingredient. Secret ingredient is the salsa paste. Salsa. I put this stuff in spaghetti sauce, and I make all kinds of stuff with this. So this stuff is, you don't even know it's in there, but it just adds that flavor that uh, just adds a whole lot to it. Now this will take a couple of hours to just melt down and uh, render itself. And turn into dinner. And we'll throw this over some, um, I don't know, maybe we'll do some mashed potatoes. I haven't done any mashed potatoes. I haven't had any mashed potatoes since I think uh, Christmas. <laughs> and here it is July. So I we'll bought a couple of potatoes and we're going to mash them up. And usually we do sweet potato or, or yams, uh, the orange ones. But uh, okay, we'll this do will that. be old school here and uh, that flour will help. Look at that, the gravy's already being made. Oh yeah, this is going to be good. What's that? You put... Uh... Well, I put some olives. olives in there too for color and flavor. Not olives. May sound weird, but I guarantee you it'll taste good. That well, should be enough. 
these tomatoes will melt down here pretty soon. It's only been five minutes. Mm. <sighs> Already smells good. Put a lid, self basting lid. Hmm? <laughs> Cast iron, baby. Best cookware in the world. <laughs> It's only been 10 minutes, sweetie. But it's. Mm. I wish you could smell this. No. Not yet? Are oh, you put the mushrooms down? Stuff's starting to come together pretty good. Time to add the mushrooms. And then I'll uh, get started with the uh, peeling potatoes. Mm -hmm. Starting to thicken up. Oats. Oats the back of a spoon pretty good. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's hot. Mm. It's yes. starting to... Need some more time, mm -hmm. but um, that raw taste is gone and starting to blend its flavors together. And uh, it just needs time to hang out a little bit. And I'll get the uh, potatoes going. Unless, of course, my sweetie would like to uh, peel potatoes. <laughs> for me. I, I knew it. With that laugh, <laughs> it's probably not going to be the case. Hello. It's getting there. Pork is just very, very tender. Veggies are al dente. Still got a little bite to them, but you can identify them, but they're blended all its flavors together. Mm. Ah, smells good. Well, I can lift it up too. No, I can. I can uh, see. Okay. Let me know when you're gonna do it. Okay. Ready. Okay. This is how efficient a cast iron Dutch oven is. This is simmering away beautifully on the lowest possible low setting. See a little bit of flame that's on there. That's it. All it takes. Maintain a beautiful little simmer. Yeah. Cooking this whole thing. They should pay you. Yeah, I should be a spokesman for Lodge. But that's just how good that this stuff traps heat. Once you get it warm, and once you get that heat up there, it just, if you got a constant fuel source like this stove, you can reduce the heat down, down, down. It just can. Well, it is. It's an oven. That's why they call it a Dutch oven. Mm -hmm. It looks delicious. It smells good, too. Potatoes ready to be mashed. Yep, just drying them a little bit. They're about ready. A little more milk. 
make it creamy. Get some of the lumps out. Well, quite frankly, I really do like it lumpy. <laughs> mm. I know most people don't. Some some pe some people put the uh, cream like the cottage cheese. Oh, I've never done cottage cheese in it. That's for sure. I think I saw Giada, uh, not Giada, but Barefoot Contessa. Mm. Um, what's the what's her name? I don't want to. Aina, Aina Garten. Yeah, I don't like to totally ruin the taste of the potatoes because I love potatoes. And then you start putting. Now it's eating time. Dump this over, over that, or on the side. I'm going to have it on the side with maybe a little gravy in the middle, like that. Maybe a little salad on the side, or some other veggie. Mm -hmm. And not that there's plenty of veggies there. Bon appetit. Oh. That pork is so tender. Mm. Look at that. Al dente, very well cooked. Oh. If you ain't cooking in a Dutch oven, you're missing out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bon appetit. Dinner time. <laughs>